Our political reporter, Mark Matthews, joins us now from Knob Hill. Mark, the president is going to be attending a couple of key fundraisers. One is very private. Yes, and uh, we're not going to be inside either one of them, but there's one here at the Fairmont. It's open to 800 people. The other one over at the Getty Mansion, much more exclusive. A lot of people lined up out here in front of the Fairmont to protest against the president. There's a crowd of about 300 people, some demonstrating to encourage the president, others de protesting his presidency. There are protesters demanding that Obama seize the assets of British Petroleum, alongside those who want him to end the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, and next to them, Tea Partiers threatening to vote Barbara Boxer and Democrats out of office in November. We also want him to know that when he comes to San Francisco, um, normally a very progressive city where the red carpet is rolled out for a fellow progressive, uh, we're not rolling out the red carpet for him anymore. There is a lot of shouting here, but not as many people as expected because of the rainy weather. One of the largest groups a block away over in front of Grace Cathedral, a collection of religious groups, set up an altar on the cathedral steps to call on the president to take up comprehensive immigration reform. Purging protests. We want to, we're, we're, we, we're waiting to see more. We have promises that we still want to see fulfilled, and we want to invite him to, to step up to the plate and to be with us and to lead and to bring this country together and support the family and communities that are being destroyed right now and are living in fear. Of course, there are a lot of people that are here to see the president. Behind me, you can see a little bit of the line. Some 800 people are waiting to get into the Fairmont. They have paid between $200 and $2,000. I'm told the event here sold out last night and will raise more than $600,000 for Barbara Boxer. The event later in Pacific Heights at the Getty Mansion, that's expected to clear more than a million. We'll be back with more on ABC7 at 6 o'clock, reporting live from the Fairmont. Mark Matthews, ABC7 News. Crown Force Jonathan Bloom is also live at the Fairmount tonight, where the president is expected to arrive very shortly, Jonathan. Yeah, he certainly is. And with that motorcade on the ground now, the energy here at the protest has intensified. If you look behind me, you can see that police officers are preparing to make sure that these hundreds of protesters behind these barricades do not get out of control. They are protesting everything. And we'll show you some video of just some of the signs that they have. They're protesting the war. They're protesting big oil. They're protesting President Obama's treatment of the health care issue. They're protesting for immigration reform. They're protesting taxes. You have a large contingent from the Tea Party movement here who thinks that President Obama spent all horrible year in office and needs to be replaced as soon as possible. In fact, here's what one of them said when I interviewed him just a few moments ago. Runaway government, spending more money than we have, regulations that are sending our jobs overseas, taxes that are going through the roof, debts that my grandchildren's grandchildren will not be able to pay off. The country's lost its mooring and this president has done more damage in the year that he's been in office than the, that has ever been done in a year in this country. In fact, uh, as you come back here out to this live picture, you can see that there are lots and lots of different groups here. There are environmentalists, there are health care advocates, pretty much everybody who has a complaint with the president is taking this opportunity to show that complaint to him. And of course, the president may not actually get so close to these protesters because all of the streets that are being closed off. There are street closures around the city, including one in the middle of downtown San Francisco on Mission Street. And we want to take you back live to San Francisco's Fairmont Hotel, where hundreds of protesters have gathered. President Obama will be speaking there tonight. Christine Conley is standing by live for us. Christine. Well, you know, things are happening right now as we speak, and we believe that the president is either here or very close by. Let's go ahead and show you uh, what they've done now is they've closed off Sacramento Street in this area, and they've got this area under lockdown now. They're not letting uh, anyone uh, down Sacramento Street here. And if we can pan over towards uh, the Fairmont Hotel, uh, no one uh, is, that we've seen has been going in or out of the Fairmont Hotel. Uh, we don't believe that the president's going to come into the main entrance here. He'll probably go into a back entrance entrance when he does arrive. We've seen uh, helicopters above uh, uh, the area that was about 10, 15 minutes ago, uh, hearing a lot of uh, sirens and such in the area. So we believe that it could be uh, very soon when he's arriving. And taking a look over here, you can see an ambulance that's just arrived as well. So a lot of activity in the area. Uh, certainly, if he's not here, he could be by shortly. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Christine Conley, Crom 4 News. 
President Obama is in the Bay Area spending tonight in San Francisco before visiting Fremont tomorrow. The president's been to the Fairmont Hotel on Knob Hill and the Getty Mansion in Pacific Heights, raising money for Senator Barbara Boxer's reelection campaign. We have team coverage tonight. KTVU's Janet Katsuyama is outside the Getty event, but we begin with Ken Wayne at the Fairmont. Ken. Julie, there are still some police barricades stacked along the sidewalks here, but it is much quieter at the Fairmont Hotel now that a large crowd of noisy protesters has gone home. The president's motorcade left Knob Hill at 7.30 this evening. Mr. Obama spoke for half an hour at this fundraising event for Senator Barbara Boxer. He defended himself against Republican criticism, saying his administration has taken the wheel of a vehicle the GOP has already wrecked. Here you got folks driving a car in the ditch, and then we're out there in the mud pulling the car out of the ditch, and they're sitting there comfortable, drinking on a Slurpee or something, and <laughs> saying, uh, you know, you're not pulling the car out of the ditch fast enough. <laughs> then we finally get the car out of the ditch, and they want the keys back. <laughs> Say, no, you can't have the keys. You don't know how to drive. You can't have the keys. Senator Boxer sounded a similar theme, saying her opponents in the Senate race are calling on Republican heavyweights. Carl Rove. I thought you'd say that. Uh, Sarah Palin. And if that wasn't enough for you, Newt Gingrich. Outside the Fairmont Hotel, about 300 protesters voiced their concerns on everything from war. Above all, I want to say to him, stop funding the war. To the deficit. Tax and spend, tax, tax, tax. They don't, they, they re refuse to enforce the laws we got. Uh, it's time for him to go. To putting solar panels on the White House. He said he'd love to do it, and so now we're just waiting to hear uh, next steps and get to get all the logistics figured out. Former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown attended the event. He said those who are frustrated at the pace of change from Washington aren't paying attention. If you go through the 18 months of Mr. Obama's administration, and you look at the achievements, and you look at what uh, Senator Boxer has done for 18 years, it would be hard as a Democrat to be critical of them. Those we talked to coming out of the speech seemed happy with what they heard. I thought it was great. It was great. Um, Obama handled himself very well, as he usually does. At one point, the president was interrupted by a heckler who urged him to move faster on Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He responded by saying the man apparently didn't read newspapers because he's working right now to overturn the ban on gays in the military. Live in San Francisco, Ken Wayne, KTVU Channel 2 News.